Hey guys, it's Jay from Skull Game and Network. Welcome to another MLB Perfect Inning 2020 video, and welcome to, I think this is episode 7 of Pack and Play. Might be episode 6, the title will be correct. Regardless, to start off two days, Pack and Play. We have some packs in our storage. Seven, to be exact. We have two 70-plus packs and five 85-plus packs. To create those spots i need to do a trade so we're going to do a big trade try to get a big time player blackman's worth a lot of gp but none of those guys would make the team we're going to re-roll we lost some gp value we'll take matt kane and then we'll open our two 70 plus packs and get 87 evan marshall and 71 joey vado marshall decent vado Yuck. Then we have our five 85 plus packs, and we get 89 Brantley and a bunch of 87s and an 85. So nothing good. We're not going to add anyone new to the team. We're just going to go over to the ranked head to head screen, get our ranked challenge of the week team home runs. Let's try to join a game now. And here we go, facing Ian Tigers, a D-plus team. After getting double game filled a week ago, I have no excuses if I lose today. I know I can get game filled. I'm playing a team that's below me. I'm the home team. I hope I'm playing a real person to at least make it semi-interesting. Loading into things, Kyle Hendricks on the mound for us. And Adalberto Mondesi leading off. He's batting 111, probably one for nine, maybe two for 18. I did not see how many hits he has. But we get strike one. We're going to go back to the four-seamer, and that is line to second Utley with the catch for the first out. Now Whit Merrifield up to bat. He is one for seven with a single his skill, it literally says no skill. That is a bit brutal. Not going to lie. He grounds to the pitcher. Hendricks fields throws. There's quickly two away. To my opponent's credit, he is at least making contact, which to me means he's using manual contact. I've got a lot of respect for this guy. I really do. Um, I still think and hope I'm going to win. But, you know, I'm not facing an AI, so instead of being a complete tryhard, I'll, I'll treat him like a person a bit. I know him too, the sinker, grounded to first, Clark Fields takes it to the bag. So we head to the bottom of the seventh, knotted at zero, leading off Chase Utley against, I think that's Brad Keller. And first pitch on its way to Seamer. I took it, and it was strike one. My opponent seems to have a good strategy. He's going to attack the corners. I can't blame him. Goes back to that upper inside corner with a slider, and he's ahead 0-2. Let's see what he does here. He goes to that upper inside corner again. I wasn't sitting on it because it's not typical to go to the same spot three times in a row, but I knew in the back of my mind that's where he likes to go, and I crushed it to right center for a leadoff double. Buford up to bat now. And let's see what's going to happen. Opponent says it's making a substitution. We'll see what actually happens. In comes Ian Kennedy. The former starter converted to a closer. He's got a decent pitch mix. He really does. Okay, low and away. I fouled that off. I don't mind that pitch if he comes back with it. Oh, Buford runs into one, and that is a two-run shot to center to make it 2 nothing. I didn't think I squared that ball up that well, but I'll take it when I can get it. Will Clark up to bat now. And, you know, I'm having fun. 
We're getting an actual matchup. Clark dump sets left for a single. Now, my opponent's a little overmatched. I'm a little undermatched. But at least we have a ball game. And for that, thank you, Gameville, and thank you to my opponent. Fouled off by Stanton. Just got to plant the seed of doubt about will I or won't I run. That's grounded to first. Yeah, he should have taken the out. Set everyone safe, and it's first and second for Mike Trout. That's one where anything that's slow on the ground, it's not a double play ball. It's unfortunate, but it's the reality of things. Oh, ho, ho, that changeup was nice. He had me baffled, and he got strike one. Slider misses low and in. 1-1 one, one count. Not a terrible waste pitch, but it's tough to fool someone below the zone. Just being honest. You got to start in the zone. Nice diving catch in center by Whit Merrifield for the first out. Now you start in the zone and you drop it below. If you start below the zone, the only way someone's chasing it is if they're committed to swinging, right? Anything that starts below that line, pitches don't rise in this game. Now you could start above the zone and drop in. That has gotten me a couple times, and that's a good strategy. But just something to keep in mind. Kennedy just misses back-to-back -back pitches, so we're ahead 2-0. Didn't mean to get that far into his mind with the running. Sweeney hits one high and deep to right, and that is gone for a three-run shot. Sweeney does it to his former team and makes it a 5-0 ball game. Trey Turner up to bat now. Only one out. Only one out. And five runs have come across to score. That's a hanging breaking ball. That is clobbered to right center. Whit Merrifield with a 52 throwing arm. He gets it in quickly, though. Holds me to a double. And now Anthony Rendon up. He's looking to expand things. Ian Kennedy's ERA is 54. Oof. Rendon hits one high and deep to left. That's going to bounce. And go over the wall for a ground rule double to make it 6 nothing. Joe Maurer up to bat. He is, I believe, the 9-hole hitter. Yep. Hanging breaking ball. He gets under it, and that's going to be a pop out to short. Great play by Mondesi. There's two away as Chase Utley comes up for the second time in the inning. He led things off with a double. Another double would be another run. We'll see what he can do. We're going to take ball one inside, though. We're not going to chase unnecessarily, but we'll try to be appropriately aggressive. That's hit high in the air to center. Merrifield can't get there. It's off the wall. That is a double, and that is a run. It's 7 nothing. Buford up. He had a two-run home run last time. We'll see what he does this time. That's roped to left center. That's not a two-run home run, but that is a two-out double to make it 8 nothing. Three RBIs on the game for Buford. Will Clark up to bat. He singled and scored a run. If he can get a hit here, he'd get an RBI. Let's see what he can do. Oh, I, I was so tempted. I should not have chased that, but he got me to chase it. He got me to chase it. And then I missed the four-seam fastball because I didn't want to chase it. And I'm behind 0-2. The hanging breaking ball. I'm not going to strike out because of it, but I pop out to Mondesi at short. We get eight runs on nine hits, and we head to the eighth. Hendricks still going strong. Just trying to load into things here. Alex Gordon batting 333. Something's got to change there. The looping curveball tempted him, but he lined out. 
for a quick out number one. Jorge Soler is batting 667. He's two for three. Well, we're not going to allow that to continue. Nope, now he's down to 500. He lines out to first two away. Michael Franco up to bat. He's one for five. Let's see if we can make him one for six. Okay, we get him to foul it off for strike one. Let's see what he does with the changeup. You like throwing it to me. Okay, yeah, he wanted me to throw a changeup. That's okay, though. It results in a single. So with two outs, Nicky Lopez up to bat. He has no hits on the week. We don't want to give him his first. So we're going to go four-seamer for strike one. Then we're going to go curveball. Swung on and miss strike two. And we'll go back to the curveball again. And that is fouled off. Way to stay alive. Way to stay alive. Next 0-2. Swung on and missed for a strikeout. We head to the bottom of the eighth. Game's out of hand. Or feels like it's out of hand. We'll see what we can do. Can we add any more? Part of it's do we want to. Well, we add one run on the solo shot from Stanton. A line drive blast to right. That was out before I could even realize it was out, and it's 9 nothing. Mike Trout up to bat now. He did not get on base his first time up. We'll see if he changes that here. Gets the breaking ball hanging out over the plate. That's dumped into right for a double. I was going to say a leadoff double, but that would not be accurate. No matter. Mike Sweeney up. He had a three-run home run his first time up. A two-run home run would continue to do his old team, the Royals, absolutely dirty. Let's see what he can do here. He swung through strike one. Then we get a pickoff attempt. I'm not going to steal third, bro. Especially not up by nine. When you're up by two, stealing a base is in play. When you're up by more than five, it really is not. Sweeney goes deep for the second time. Two for two, two homers, five ribs. It's 11 nothing. Mike Sweeney, again, doing it to his former team, taking home the pseudo single-game MVP honors. Trey Turner up to bat. He's going to look to extend things. Dumps a single into center. Again, I'm not going to steal. I'm not going to steal. Rendon up to bat. He had an RBI double, I think, his first time up. We'll see what he does this time. That is popped in the air to shallow right. Hunter Dozier with the catch for the first out. With one out, Joe Maurer up to bat. And Joe Maurer. Did not get on base his first time around. This time, that is clobbered to left center. That is a hit. That is a two-run home run to make it 13-0. That was actually almost robbed. So when I said it was a hit, I was almost incorrect. But it's now 13-0. Chase Otley up to bat. Two for two with two RBI doubles. He could get a third double, but... To get a third RBI, he'd have to hit a home run. Or it would have to be a double and a throwing error. Fail pitch. Oh, 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 I wanted that so bad. I was too early on it. We take the change up. Up. Not going to force anything. Not going to force anything. That's the last thing we want to do. Okay, 3-1 count. And a fail pitch. And I was late on it this time. Okay, full count. One out. Locking in. Hanging breaking ball. That's it well to right, but Dozer's there for out number two. So one more out. And he'll be out of things. Buford up to bat. He homered. And I think he hit a double. He has three RBIs in total. Another home run and another RBI would definitely help his stat line. And we've got a 1-1 count after we miss strike one. 
and then took ball one. Fail pitch. There we go. Solo blast to left makes it 14 nothing. And now Will Clark up to bat. We'll see what he can do. Two outs, fail pitch. Oh my goodness, I'm struggling with these fail pitches. Why? I don't get it. Fouled that off, so we're now in an 0-2 hole. On 0-2. Blooped into left, that's down for a hit. We're going to send him to second. And, yep, he's thrown out. That's kind of what I was hoping. We head to the ninth up by 14 runs. So, thankfully, we should be keeping our players and actually able to boost up our single-game MVP, Mike Sweeney. That would be nice to do. That is lifted into right for a leadoff single to start the ninth, though, so I can't get too comfortable too quickly. Valoria up to bat. I don't even know who he is, but good for him. That's Ryan O'Hearn, by the way, that got the leadoff single. I didn't even pay attention to who I was pitching to. But Valoria hits the curveball to short. Diving effort from Turner, and it falls in for a hit. So it's first and second, no outs. Adalberto Mondesi up to bat. Good speed for a default. And are we about to see a substitution? We might be. We might be. Yes. In comes Gutierrez. That's a strange substitution. I would have kept Mondesi in over Gutierrez, but what do I know? Probably not much. Probably not much. That's grounded up the middle. I did the same thing that my opponent did when I criticized him. I tried for the out on the slow grounder, and it did not work. We're going to see another pinch hitter. Gallagher. I don't know anything about Gallagher. He has good power. He does have good power. We're going to pitch everything down. There we go. Strike one. Strike two. And strike three. Hunter Dozier up to bat. Come on, Hendricks. Okay, we're keeping the defense in. Boom, strike one. Going up. Grounded to second. We were in. Turn it. We get the shot out. 14-0. And now we'll go upgrade Mike Sweeney and call it a video. All right, so Sweeney with two home runs. We're going to do two boost attempts. We'll get him to a plus three. Or actually, we'll go until we fail once. We'll use our diamonds to account for the failure, and that will be that. So we got Sweeney up to a plus three. We're going to try to make him be a plus four, 95% chance. There we go, he's a plus four. Can we make him into a plus five? That's a good question that we hope to soon have an answer to. 85% chance, hopefully this works. There we go, he's a plus five. Trying to make him now into a plus six. And... 59% chance at this. He's a plus six. Can we make him a plus seven? 
We'll see soon enough. 39.5% chance. And it fails. So, he's a plus 6. But that's what you get for 2 homers and 5 RBIs against your former team. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Leave a like if you did. If you're new around here, subscribe for more MLB Perfect Inning 2020 content. In the comments, feel free to give me feedback on the Pack and Play series. I'm trying to make it fun, but you guys need to let me know what is and isn't fun about it. With all that being said, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. And until next time, and as always, peace out.